This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer Aspire V3 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Aspire V3 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to remove all sources of power to make the laptop safe to work on, and that means removing the battery. In order to do that, we flip the laptop over, and on the bottom there's an orange lever that we slide to the left. If you can't reach with your finger, you can use a screwdriver, which I'm going to actually use. So slide the lever to the left and lift the battery up and remove it and once you do that the laptop is safe to work on. Okay while we're still on the bottom I'm going to show you where to find the model number for this laptop. There's a couple places actually. There's a barcode label on the bottom that says V3. That's there. That's not very obvious. So another place is right under the battery right to the right of Acer you see Aspire V3 series Aspire V3 series right there that's the other place where you find the model number for this laptop and uh, for newer laptops most of the time there will be a label on the palm rest here which will tell you what the model number is Okay, in order to get to the screen assembly, we have to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we have to remove two screws at the bottom, and they're hiding behind some plastic screw covers. So that's the first thing we'll do. But before we do that, we're going to show you the tools that we need uh, to do this job. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. A PH00 electronic screwdriver. That's just a smaller screwdriver for small screws. A 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver to uh, pry things open. An X-Acto knife or a hobby knife with a pointed blade to remove the screw covers and a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables or remove any screws that may be stuck. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is remove the screw covers and then we use the X-Acto knife to remove those. And what you do is put those right next to the screw opening so I don't lose them. And we do the same thing for the other side. Like so. Once we do that, we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the screws on the bottom. So there's two screws, and we remove them. And for each set of screws, for each step, I like to keep them in a separate pile, and I like to keep the piles in the order in which I remove them. And that helps me keep track of which screws go where when I put the laptop back together. Once we do that, we can snap the screen bezel off. In order to do that, we put our fingertips <coughs> or fingernails on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and listen for snapping sounds. And once we hear those, that's a good sign. The bezel is coming off. So we gently work our way around the screen. If any place you get stuck, you just keep going, come back to the place where you're stuck at. And another thing that helps is to lift upward and outward. So that, that way that helps to get parts unstuck. And we go around. The same thing on the bottom. Like so. And one more place. And once we do that, the screen bezel comes off like so. Okay, for this type of screen, it's mounted on some metal mounting brackets on the sides of the screen with some screws. So we have to be able to 
get to those screws and for this laptop it is fairly easy except for the bottom one so what we want to do there's two screws at the top that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the back of the screen assembly what we want to do is use our PH1 screwdriver to remove those two screws and that will let us tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly and that can helps us get to the side screws and once again I start a separate pile for this set of screws and as you can see we can wiggle the screen forward from the screen assembly and that way it helps us get to the screws on the sides so there's three screws on each side and we remove them one by one while we're doing this you need to keep the screen tilted back a little bit because when you remove all the screws you don't want the screen to fall forward on you. The same thing on the other side. Like so. One. And. Two. And. Three. Okay, once all the screws are removed, we gently move the screen forward and we see that the video cam, the webcam cable is stuck to the back of the screen. So while holding the webcam cable, we gently move the screen forward, make sure we're not damaging anything. And there's some tape on the bottom. We remove that also. And we gently put the screen down. Okay, for this type of screen, there's only one connector that we need to remove, and it's secured by some adhesive tape on top. Adhesive tape on top. So we can either use our fingernails and fingertips to lift up this tape, or we can use the X Acto knife to do the same thing, whatever you prefer. like so we gently remove the tape and then there's some adhesive on the back of the tape on the back of the video cable so we lift up this adhesive on the back of the video cable and once we do that we slide the connector backwards like so once we do that the screen is free okay the next step is I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector because this is the biggest source of trouble that I see when you slide the connector in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. That means it's properly engaged. And let's get a close-up look of this connection. It's As you can see, pause the video right there. As you can see, there's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection are flush with each other. All right, let's keep moving. And once again, we slide this connector out, like so. And we take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen, but with one very unusual feature. The size of the connector is not standard. So most 15.6 inch LED screens have a, what is called a 40 pin connector and this particular screen has a 30 pin connector which is a little bit smaller so let's get the part number for this screen and the part number is b156 xtn01-0 b156 xtn01-0 
dash zero. So that's the part number that you're looking for. And also, when you buy this new screen, um, make sure that it's specified that it's a 30-pin connector instead of a 40-pin connector. And we want us to focus. So because sometimes they'll have identical part numbers but a different size connector. Okay, uh, we at Screen Surgeons also have the screen available on and off, so um, please contact us to see if we have this screen available. To contact us, uh, please go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out with your laptop model and email address, and then from then we can tell you if we have this screen on hand or not. Okay, uh, once you do receive the screen, Connect it as I showed you with the connector. Then mount the screen into the metal mounting brackets with the screws on the sides. Then put the two screws in on top. And then snap the screen bezel back on and put the two screws in at the bottom and the screw covers. And once you do that, that's it. You'll be done. And you'll be good to go. Okay, uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.